Hi, this is Michael Dance with Gearhead Live, and I'm speaking to... Brad Kelly. Oh, hey, How Brad. So what do we got here? 1957 Ford Ranchero um, that I've been working on for about a year and a half, year and three quarters. I bought it and trailered it home and trailered it to a shop, actually, and then none of the windows were in it. Uh, the fenders were all loose. The glass was all out of it. The dash was all out of it. All the parts were sitting in the back of the bed, and it was primered, and a lot of dents and the fenders. Everything was loose on it. Um, Where'd you find it at? Simi Valley. A guy had it out there, and some friends of mine told me about it. And I went out there and negotiated with him and made a deal, and then flat bedded it to my shop. All right on. Uh, was he the original owner? No, he had about four other cars out there he had been working on, and I don't know who he got it from. He got it from an, somebody else, and it's been sitting for 10 years when I got it. All oh, right. So I don't know if the guy ran out of money that was paying him to work on it or what. But uh, Okay, bro, well, take me through the phases. What, what did you first do when you got it home? Well, when I first got it to the shop, I took all the parts out of the back and <laughs> tried to segregate them right. and see what I had and what I didn't have. And there were boxes full of them. There were oodles of parts. Nothing was, no glass, nothing was in there. Just sheet metal was hung and it was loose. And then started making a list of, of you know, we circ went around, circled all the dents. I, I talked to one of the body men, set up a deal for him to do all the body work, took the fenders off, took the aprons out because they were all coated with coatings and stuff, sent them out to get them powder coated. Now, the aprons, you mean the wheel wells? The fender, front fender wheel wells, okay. correct. Uh -huh. And uh, then started ordering parts, weather strip kits. Um, well, how was the sheet metal, like, you know, the quarter panel there? It looks straight as a Well, now it does, but now. they had little dents here and there. And, and like I say, we had to refit all the front sheet metal, all the doors, the tailgate. Um, it, it, there was an onslaught of... More body work than I thought. It didn't look too bad until you start looking oh, close. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's always and it. And you always find other items. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's start down to the back here. But show me the interior. It looks great. Yeah, the interior I got done about a month and a half ago. That was the last thing we got done. Uh, I had them. I got a cowhide from a friend of mine that he works for the furniture business, and he ordered me a cowhide. And then I have an upholster I dealt with over the years. And, um, Another friend of mine that helped me do the car made the armrests because they didn't come with this armrest. And then I sent all the chrome inside, all the trim inside out and had it chromed. Got a new handles. We, I got a, another steering column, a tilt, and all the high-tech gauges. And then we made the brush stainless panel and cut out all the holes, water sawed all the holes for the gauges. And then uh, they put Mercedes carpet in it, uh, made kick panels, made the panel behind the seat. It, it quite a, a lot of work to it. Put all new sill plates in, weather strips. Uh, there was a lot to it. And then we, I took all the stainless and all the chrome out and sent it to a chrome shop and they redid all the chrome and all the stainless. It looks fantastic. And then another person I know made new glass for everything except the windshield, and he ordered it, and it came from overseas. Right on. So, it, yeah, it, it's a lot of work. The poultry shop even carpeted the bed for me, and it's removable. It's removable where I can take the carpet out of it. Oh, now it's comfortable, though, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, yeah, and I don't drive it in the rain, so it's not All right. something that... This is a dry-weather car, so... Now all this molding here, there's a lot of it. Yeah, it's all been redone. I had to find a few pieces of it, and I found that in Texas at yeah. that one wrecking yard that's on TV periodically. They had it there, but it's hard to find the parts for this car. There's not a lot of them around anymore, so it's it's quite an adventure chasing parts. And um, all the side moldings? They were all sent out also. Who, who did you work for you? Uh, uh, um, Astro Plating did all the plating and all the stainless for me. Yeah, we know Astro over in Van Nuys. Yeah, North Hollywood, actually. Oh, okay, North Hollywood. Too, okay. By the Costco. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, it's it's just below Roscoe Boulevard. It's about three blocks down their new place. Oh, okay. Um, Are you done inside here? Yeah. Then 
and I repainted the back emblem and I made the emblem was cracked underneath the handle. Now is this original here? No, it's not at all. Ah, it looks fantastic. It's a reflective material. You can buy it at trailer places to put on vehicles. They use a lot of it on trailers and stuff. So I coated the the original emblem with that and then put it all together. So. Beautiful. Had the license plates refinished. Yeah, so it's like a brand new car. Yeah. Well, hey, Brad, we're running out of time here. So, okay. hey, thanks for the interview. Oh, thank you. And uh, check us out on uh, YouTube, Gearhead Live. Okay, great. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. Have a nice day.